What's going on my fellow producers, I'm Young Karts. Today I'm bringing you guys my newly updated tutorial on how to mix and master in FL Studio. Before we get into today's video, I want you guys to hit that like button, the subscribe button, and don't forget to hit that notification bell. Also, if you're interested in getting my Halo Loop Kit, you can grab that down below in the description, all for $14.99. It contains lots of crazy loops and they're all royalty free. All right, let's get into today's video. So here we are in the studio. The first thing I'm gonna say right off the bat is the last time I made a video on mixing and mastering in FL Studio was about a year ago. And since then my mixing and mastering style has changed. And um, I know you guys want those hard, clean, punchy mixes. So that's what I'm here to show you guys how to do today with my newly updated uh, mixing and mastering style. All right, so the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys the raw unmixed beat. <music> Okay, so as you can tell, the beat is not clean whatsoever. It's very dirty and it just sounds very muddy. What you're going to do is you are going to uh, go ahead, turn each and every individual sound up in your channel rack. All right, just like so. All right, now we're going to make sure that cut itself is turned on for each and every individual sound. And what that and what cut itself does is it keeps your sounds from overlapping with each other. So if you're new to FL Studio, I'm gonna show you exactly what happens on an 808 when you don't use cut itself. You get this very bad wobbling effect because the notes aren't transitioning well into each other. So by having cut itself on, the notes transition very well into each other without any sort of overlapping and it makes the 808 sound very clean. All right, so that's what cut itself essentially does. Very important thing to be using in FL Studio. So make sure you apply that to all of your sounds. Then what we'll do is we'll go into our first sound in our channel rack. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and turn the note velocities all the way up on each and every sound in our channel rack, except for anything that's melodic. Because chances are, if you made something that's melodic, you've already messed with the velocities, you may have applied a strumizer effect, or you know whatever you may have done. Because what happens is if you turn the velocities up all the way on a melody, for example, it will make it sound very harsh and it will make it sound very out of place from what you originally had it on before. So you don't want that in your final mix. So don't touch the velocities on your melodies. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna scroll down between each sound, okay? So I'm in my Omnisphere sound. This is a melody, so I don't wanna touch this. So I'm gonna scroll down. This is another Omnisphere melody sound. I don't wanna touch that. Now we're down into my claps, um, or into my drums. And the first drum I have here is a clap sound, all right? So this is where we're gonna to wanna to turn all the velocities up on each of the drum sounds. So we're gonna go ahead, hit Control A to select all of the notes. Hold Alt and scroll all the way up to turn the velocities up all the way on the claps. And then we're gonna just do that for each individual sound. So my perks and my hi-hats. And notice how on my hi-hats I have a randomizer effect to create bounce. And what I did here to turn the hi-hats up is I looked at my highest peaking note and then I just turned that all the way up. And you can see I still have that randomizer effect going on which will keep the bounce in my hi-hats. All right, on to my next sound. This is another perk. I'm just gonna turn all that. I'm gonna turn that all the way up. Uh, an open hat, turn that all the way up. 808s, turn those all the way up. Kicks, turn those all the way up. Okay, so after you have done that, be sure to give all of your channel rack sounds a, their own individual number, like I do here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, because that's where your sounds are going to be placed in the mixer. So select your first sound here, hold control, select it again, and then all of your channel racks will be highlighted. Press F9 to go into your mixer and hit control shift L, and then you will have your mixer window all nice and labeled for you so you know which sound is which when, when it comes to, you know, mixing and mastering. All right. So... 
The first thing I like to do is I like to go to my master track right here and I like to add a fruity soft clipper. All right, I usually turn my threshold down here and my post down to about here. And what the fruity soft clipper will do is it will keep your sounds from playing too loud in the mix so it doesn't create any weird distortion and so you can have a very clean mix by the end of your mixing and mastering and all of your leveling and so forth. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do right after that is I'm going to make sure that all of my sounds are mixed, okay? Now, generally with your drums, there's not much you really have to mix there. Most of the sounds are already mixed very well. Uh, every once in a while, you may have to mix your kick, but very rarely, I, I never really have to do that. Oops, I just made that smaller. Okay, so the, the drums don't really require mixing whatsoever. What really requires the mixing is your melodies because what, ha what ends up happening is your melodies, by the, by the time you're done creating your melody, um, your melody is going to have some low end. And what that low end will do is it's going to mess with the low end in your 808 and it's going to make your 808 sound muddy, which you don't want. It's going to almost sound like your 808 is overlapping again, like I showed you in that cut itself example. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and mix our melody real quick. See how I just cut out that low end sound of my melody? That's gonna really help later when it comes to uh, leveling the other sounds and making them sound good together. All right, so now we're gonna go to my next sound right here. See what this sounds like. All right, so we just took out the low end on the second melody. Uh, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn that sound off. I'm gonna go straight to my 808, and I'm going to, you know, this is where, now we're gonna basically start the leveling process. So, like I said, the drums don't really need to be mixed. It's just the melodies, because the melodies have the low end, and that's what screws around with the drums. So we mixed our melodies. The drums don't need to be mixed. Uh, so now what we can do is we can go ahead and start leveling our drums. So these are our drums right here, from the clap all the way down to the kick. All right, so make sure that all these sounds are set to mono because by setting your sounds to mono, it will keep the, uh, it will keep them from basic, it will keep your sounds from panning from the left ear to the right ear. Instead, it will pan perfectly between both ears. That's what the mono effect will do. Don't do it to your melodies, however, because it, it really screws up the melodies and it makes them sound really flat. So don't do it with the melodies. Okay, so here's the 808. We're gonna go ahead and start leveling by starting with our 808. I'm going to go ahead and bring my kick in now. Now with the kick, what I like to do is I like to add in a uh, side chain. Okay, what the side what the side chain will do is it will just blend better with the 808. The kick will blend better with the 808 and it will make the kick stand out a little bit more. So 65% on that uh, side chain sounds pretty good. So once once you get your 808 and your kick down, then I like to bring in the clap. Then we'll bring in my perk. Now my perk is all the way towards the end of the pattern, so I just use this little scroll thing 
go i went to the end of the pattern here because the only time when this perk plays is at the end of the pattern Don't feel bad about you know just previewing it like crazy like you know, like you know how I was just repeating it right there don't feel bad about that it really helps you actually make out the sound better and it helps you with the leveling so don't be afraid to you know keep repeating the sound over and over again I know it might be annoying to some of you but it really helps okay now we're going to tune the hi-hats or level the hi-hats I mean when it comes to leveling it's all about you know really finding out what sounds good to your ear so you just basically you're using your ear to uh level you know whatever sounds good to you will probably sound good to someone else so that's basically how leveling works here All right, then I believe this is one of my open hat sounds. I'm using a perk sound as an open hat sound. Then I use this open hat sound kind of as a crash. Also, I kind of have a rule when it comes to leveling, so like the clap, you see my clap peaks at zero, then my perk, my perk will peak at negative three, my hi-hats are usually peaking at negative nine, my uh, open hat sound will be peaking at uh, negative twelve. Then my uh, open hat crash sort of sound will be at negative 18, which is half of the uh, hi-hat. 808, I usually like to leave it under negative three. Now with the side chain, it will make the 808 a little bit louder. So like if I take the side chain out real quick, or if I just turn the kick off real quick, see my 808 you can see that my 808 does not peak over negative three and that's because yeah, so so basically with the 808 i don't want it going over negative three okay and because i have a side chain on my kick and because my kick is louder it makes the 808 louder but it's really not louder if that makes any sense And then I usually have my kicks peaking at at uh, three decibels. And because we have a soft clipper, you can see it's kind of going into the red zone, right? And you might think, oh, that's that's a bad thing. It's actually not a bad thing because what, what the soft clipper is doing is it's keeping that kick sound from peaking. So even though the kick sound is peaking in the mix, it's not pick it's not peaking in the master track. So because what the soft clipper is doing is it's making it not peak or not clipping you know so you're actually getting a clean sound so don't be alarmed by the red in your mixer insert but if your master insert is turning red then there's something wrong there okay so now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and bring my melody in Now when it comes to melodies, I like to keep the melodies around negative six, negative nine. Never go above negative six because then it's gonna basically override your drums. All right, so now we'll bring in the counter melody.
All right, so that's where I would put the melodies at. And then now what we can do is we can hold control, select on our sound, on one of our sounds, and we'll turn all the sounds back on. And now this is what our mix sounds like. So now we have a nice clean product. So the first thing that we did to recap is we put a Fruity Soft Clipper on our master track and we use these settings to prevent our beat from clipping and from sounding too loud in the final mix, when the final mix is done, okay? Then we went ahead and we mixed our uh, two melody sounds here from Omnisphere and because the drums come mixed already, we didn't need to mix our drums. All right. And then after mixing our drums, we went ahead and we leveled the beat out and making sure that everything is set to mono. And don't forget to add that uh, side chain to your kick and your 808. And that is how you mix and master in FL Studio in 2019. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button, be sure to subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notification bell. Also, like I said before, if you guys are interested in getting my Halo Loop Kit, that will be down below in the description, all for $14.99, which contains lots of crazy loops for making any type of beat that you may want to make. Alright, so that is it for today's video. All I have to say now is thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.